sort of famously the Michelin guides. Mm -hmm. And, you know, have you ever asked yourself why a tire company yeah, yeah. makes a restaurant guide? It makes no sense. Yeah. Well, what they realized was by talking to their customers, most mm -hmm. importantly, was that um, people didn't need to buy tires because they weren't driving very far. Mm -hmm. So why weren't they driving very far? Well, they back in the days before Google Maps in the early 1900s, they didn't know if they left their village or their town mm. if there was going to be anywhere to eat or anywhere right. to stay or yeah. if they were just going to get stuck in the woods when the when it went dark. Mm. So the need from the customer point of view was not for more tires. Mm. It was for a way to know. It was a need for confidence that they could keep driving and right. there'd be somewhere to eat and somewhere to stay. That's why it's the I restaurant see. and inn guide. Right, right. And right. so they delivered on that need. And then when you've done all that driving mm -hmm. and you need new tires – Guess whose marketing collateral is sitting in your glove compartment? Right. Michelin. Who else are you going to think of? Yeah. Right, right. So you take out the Michelin guides. Mm. Now, again, what they've done is turned it into a, a revenue center because the Michelin mm. guides are now their own business unit. Yeah. You pay $30 for one and mm. you put it in your glove compartment. So you're yeah. paying Michelin to put their marketing collateral in your glove compartment right. $30 a time. Really? So this is the end game, right? Yeah. So that's an, old, an, an older version. Yeah. The Lego version is a newer version. And there's yeah. all sorts of new models being developed.